Duke coming in number 19. Virginia Tech ranked number 20 in this week's poll. Bradford up top, long jumper on the way, and nothing but net there by Mutz. The 6'7 junior out of New Jersey. Right now, the Hokies are out and running early. Goaltending there, the basket for the Hokies. And that's exactly what the Blue Devils start to get cranked up offensively. They have to have that. Thought that he would play in the next game, but right now that's the way that it's gone for, for Duke to this point to where Coach K feels as though he had to get Jalen Johnson back in this game, getting no production. Coach K going deep into his bench in this game, trying to find some type of spark. They made what was a huge lead a little smaller, but oh, how about this one? It's going to grow Tyrese Bradford putting together a spectacular first half. Bradford in great ball movement. Hunter Couture finding Bradford wide open. Duke just getting lost. Bounce up top for Hurt. Shot clock to 10. He'll let fly and a nice feathery touch from way downtown. Been two bad threes in a row from the Blue Devils. Wendell Moore didn't touch the rim, nor did George Bowers. And it ends up being a three-point opportunity. It's certainly getting physical. 64-57, slicing through again for a terrific basket. But he's struggling on the offensive end of the floor. He's invaluable to this team. Coach K has to have him in the game, probably the best on-ball defender in the ACC. You can see that variety of moves by Aluma. Under 90 seconds left. On the attack, great defense there by Aluma, and he kept it in play, and they get the basketball back. Play moments ago. Obi, this is a game-winning play. You see not only the block. So number 20, Virginia Tech, a victory tonight against the Duke Blue Devils here in Blacksburg.